This is Oasis Itzusen Community Clinic in Cosmo City on the outskirts of Rambek in Gauteng. It is one of many public health facilities in the country, overwhelmed with more patients than it can handle. Nurses say more than 300 patients visit this facility every day, but due to a lack of staff, they are unable to serve more than half. We need doctors and professional nurses to come and help us because this community is too big and it's only one clinic. From Itusen and Cosmo City, most of them they come here, even those who are from Crescent. So we don't have much staff, those who are coming here. We are suffering because there's no sisters, no doctors. It is this case and many others around the country that motivated Samsung Electronics South Africa to come up with a creative and vigorous way to give back to the public. The company has funded the development of three solar-powered mobile clinics at a cost of about eight million. It's a concept where we took trucks, extended them into seven meters and brought about you know, much needed health care facilities, you know, dental, optometry, audiology, mother and child, as well as general practitioner. The vehicles are fitted out with high-tech medical equipment. Health practitioners from the Medical University of South Africa were invited to staff the clinics on the day of the launch. It's a good project, but we can make it better. You know, by following correct processes. Right? The first process that uh, when you go to communities, we engage with them. You engage with communities and identify what they require, what their needs are. Then you superimpose the project into their needs. Not, not come with a project and then look at what people need. No, it does not work. Our role as a teaching institution is that we, we want to provide training platforms for students. And, and most of our students, it doesn't matter where they qualify in this country, they end up one way or the other in a community like this, if not worse. So what we can do for our students is that we train them in appropriate conditions. And this condition is such as that. Patients were screened for basics such as eye, ear and dental health. I'm a dental therapist. I'm going to screen the people who are here and uh, refer others for just in case they have an emergency. But they, if they room, uh, have an emergency but they have conditions, then it means I'll give them an, uh, an advice. Because what we have been told is uh, we can refer the patients anyway. Samsung contracted LTE Group of Companies, Healthcare Division and Mobile Clinics Manufacturer is student to make this initiative a reality. The technology that we use, it's a solar, solar panel for electricity. We have generators here, we have a proper electricity, we have water facilities, a sonar machine, and this specific one, a sonar machine to check the mother. It's an ultrasound machine, it's a scan. We have a theater table that can be able to do uh, check the child, the, the woman and, and children. In your case, you can do uh, mini operations, you can do circumcision uh, 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 process. We're moving forward now for another stage, maybe for tele telecommunication, that you can send information. Let's say we the doctor checking here and he found a problem. He can send the information to a specialist that can sit in the hospital can get the information and send them as immediately information what to do back or you say no, I'm meeting at the hospital for example or things like that. So this is the next stage that we will go and do in the rural areas to try to give a straightforward uh, solution for the patient. The mobile health centers will serve mostly underdeveloped and remote communities around the country. Samsung's ambition is to reach out to other African countries with a similar service. I'm Makwena Manamela reporting for Business Day and Financial Mail.